On this episode of Weekly Weapons Brief, we're going to go over one of our more rare items, and that's the Japanese Type 96. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Weekly Weapons Brief brought to you by Battlefield Vegas. I'm your host, Trevor. With me as always, I have Rick. And today, we're gonna go over one of the more rare items in our inventory, and that's the Japanese Type 96 light machine gun. Rick, why don't you tell us about this gun? Sure. This is a Type 96 LMG. It's a Japanese light machine gun. It saw service in 1936 into 1945, but did go on to uh, it did see combat a little bit after that, but not for too much longer because um, though it was intended to replace the Type 11, when Kajiro Nambu designed this weapon, um, he kept it the 6.5 uh, Arasaka round. So it wasn't able to penetrate covers like the Allies or the Germans. It just didn't have that much power to it. It wasn't until the Type 99 that came out with the 7.7 .7 Arasaka round uh, to replace this and the Type 11. Now, uh, this weapon is top fed, has a 30 round mag that goes right into the top of this weapon, uh, much like the Bren or the ZB. Uh, uh, if, if, hold on. Sorry, Rick, but if it's fed from the top, and I see we have a scope here, how are, how are soldiers supposed to be able to look through the scope. So, um, this scope is actually angled, the mirror in here. So when you look down the scope, you actually see the side of your barrel, which is an odd design, but functional. Okay. Um, and a uh, little fun fact, a mag right now goes for about a thousand dollars a uh, mag. Um, this weapon was a full auto weapon. It does have a safety. Uh, it weighs in roughly at 20 pounds, fires 550 rounds per minute, and like I said, 30 round mag. Um, the barrel was removable. Simply push that out. Not exactly quick change, but for the time, I guess ideally it was supposed to be. So uh, just wanted to point out, like besides being a fluted barrel, it's spiral fluted. I mean adding to, a, to its design. It's really nice. Has a nice wooden handle as well. We're going to pop this girl open. And that is a basic field strip to this weapon right here. Uh, now this weapon also could be uh, had a sling as well as oh, this yeah. badass bayonet to put on. Uh, in terms of being practical, probably not the most practical thing considering this weapon weighed 20 pounds and Japanese soldiers were not exactly giant men. I doubt they'd want to be swinging this thing around with a bayonet on it. But this weapon could be fired from a standing position. Uh, the rounds, like I said, were smaller rounds, so uh, not as much recoil on this weapon. And speaking of practicality, this looks like it's about a 14-inch blade. So just imagine sticking a bayonet of this length onto the end of a saw, which, I mean, this would be the Japanese version of the saw. So yeah, practical, probably not. Scary as hell, definitely. So how about we reassemble this thing and go shoot this thing? Absolutely, I can't wait to get this on the range. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. All right. Sounds good to me. 96 LMG, full auto. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Make sure you tune in next week as we go over the M1 Garand.